Social VR sites are becoming increasingly popular, offering virtual worlds where people can talk, create, play games, entertain, and share. These destinations offer a revolutionary way for humans to interact and connect. The five social VR platforms I'll be presenting today are all currently in beta and free to use. Let's take a look at the top five social VR sites as of March 2017. VTime is one of the pioneers in social VR, offering access to their site using Oculus Rift, Gear VR, Google VR, and Daydream. VTime's unique worlds offer interesting environments for groups of up to four people at a time. VTime is the only stationary VR experience, meaning users are not able to move and interact physically in the environment. With excellent graphic details, VTime offers multiple scenes like campfire, oceanfront, arctic circle, and even hanging off the edge of a cliff. VTime also offers one of the most flexible avatar creation engines allowing users to create avatars that can be very closely modeled to their likeness with lip and arm movement synchronization. One unique feature of VTime is the VCast feature which allows you to host and record your own talk show in VR. This feature was released in early 2017 but has since been brought back into VTime's lab for further development. VTime is available for download on their website or at the Oculus Store. With about 1.5 million in venture funding, VRChat is building a sandbox platform that allows users to create and explore virtual worlds. Compatible with both Rift and Vive, VRChat has an increasingly growing following with many activities and even a weekly talk show in VR. VRChat features full body avatars with lip sync, eye tracking, and complete range of motion. You can use touch and Vive controllers for hand expression and play games like Battle Disc, Bowling, and Capture the Flag. VRChat also offers a Unity SDK, which allows you to create your own worlds and avatars. You can download VRChat on Steam or on their website. Founded by Philip Rosedale of Second Life fame, High Fidelity reportedly has raised close to $40 million to develop their social VR offering. Like VRChat, High Fidelity is a sandbox environment allowing users to build their own virtual worlds and explore others, all interconnected in one limitless metaverse. The limitless design of High Fidelity is achieved through a distributed computing model, which means all users contribute computing resources to the platform. Users are quickly creating new worlds that offer multiple ways to interact. High Fidelity also features a marketplace where you can purchase avatars and other 3D elements. High Fidelity is available for download on their website and works with Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, or 2D Desktop on Mac and PC. With $5 million in funding, Rec Room from Against Gravity has quickly become a popular place for social VR recreation. Rec Room is a VR social club where you can play games with people from all around the world. Rec Room makes great use of touch and vibe controllers with games like Zero G Paddle Ball, Paintball, 3D Charades, Disc Golf, and more. You can interact in the public areas or create invitation-only private games. There's also a private area called The Lounge where you can invite friends to chat, play cards, or take part in other activities. Rec Room is a rewards-based environment where you can gain experience points as you play games and interact. While the user age range is mixed, Rec Room seems to attract a younger crowd, which probably is a contributing factor to its growing popularity. Rec Room is available on Steam, Oculus Home, and their website, and is compatible with Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. With about $18 million in funding, Altspace VR is currently one of the most popular VR sites available. This has been helped by a partnership with NBC News and frequent appearances in VR by Reggie Watts, Drew Carey, and other celebrities. Altspace VR offers multiple rooms for users to explore and also allows you to create private events in these rooms. With full Rift and Vive controller support, you can move around, play games, and perform hand expressions. Allspace VR also has an SDK allowing developers to create VR web apps and experiences with a sponsored initiative program for developers. While Allspace VR's avatar creation is somewhat confined, you'll find multiple worlds to explore with a wide range of VR devices. Also, Allspace VR has frequent live events allowing users to interact with interesting guests. And right now, they are the only social VR site doing this. Allspace VR works with Daydream, Vive, Rift, Gear VR, and 2D on Mac and PC. You can download Old Space VR from their website, Steam, and the Oculus Store. And those are our top five social VR sites as of March 2017. But be on the lookout for other players like Facebook, Oculus, and Linden Labs to enter the market in the near future. While Facebook does offer Oculus Room for Gear VR users, they have also demonstrated a high-featured social VR experience with real-world device integration, release date to be determined. 
Linden Labs is quickly moving to gain developers with their Sansar platform, which looks to have stunning graphic detail in a sandbox type platform. Sansar looks to offer similar functions to High Fidelity as a direct competitor. As VR and computing technologies advance, will social VR platforms become a common method for people to communicate? Only time will tell. Behind every major technological leap, there has been one common driver, the advancement of human interaction. And social VR has the potential to bring people from all corners of the world closer in ways like we've never seen before. We'd like to hear what social VR sites you like. Let us know in the comments and start the discussion. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and join the discussion in the comments below. Check out our other VR videos and join the community by subscribing to VR Vibe for more virtual reality exploration.